Hey, hi there, Cancer. Welcome to my weekly predictive reading for June 2020. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, and please only take the portions that resonate with you. This is a general reading. Okay, Cancer. Off-camera to save time, I've performed a protective blessing. I've shuffled and meditated over these cards just for you. And we will be using a card from the deck, Vice Versa Tarot, by Luna Ia Weatherstone. Vice Versa Tarot. And you've got the reversed Knight of Wands. Has to do with your inner self. Okay, now, Cancer, here's your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the basis of the matter. This is the situation at hand. The Ace of Swords, Cancer. Air energy. Now those are yods hanging around the sword and a divine hand, which means there's divine inspiration. This is a card of victory, clarity, truth. Things become crystal clear. It's the card of the warrior suit. This is a new beginning. It's a brand new way of life. It's realization and clarity. It has to do with the intellect, the mind, and the thoughts. It's a major breakthrough and a new direction in your life. And it brings prosperity, recognition, spiritual growth. It's triumph over difficulties. You'll need to grasp this opportunity. It's a spark, a communication, and there's strength in adversity. Out of something bad, good will come. This is a card of great power force, and strength. So build your strength against adversity and study all aspects of the problem carefully and do not make any rash or hurried decisions. And by being assertive or aggressive, you overcome. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences. The Page of Pentacles, Cancer. This is an earth energy. Could be a, a message or a young person, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is introspection, it's fascination and interest, it's a communication or an offer of stability. It takes time, but it's worth the wait. This person's attitude suggests they desire money, they're goal oriented. This can be good news about your worldly ambitions. This can be a student. They have respect for learning. And they move slowly. They're absorbed. They're practical. They're cautious. This could be a new job or a new project or a new investment or new studies. This is person. They could be uh, youthful, dependable. They're practical. They're focused. This can be a well-thought-out message that you'll need to wait for its arrival. The Ace of Swords with the Page of Pentacles is a slow communication. It's a breakthrough and clarity and ambition. It's the de desire to learn. Your third card. This is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're consciously aware of. The Ace of Pentacles, Cancer. Earth energy, new money, a divine offer, gift of life from the universe. It's prosperity, it's a healthy beginning, New money, new success, new opportunity. It's the beginning of gain and stability and potential. It's pleasures and beauty. A seed to be nurtured. You can find inspiration and joy in nature. This is an opportunity for real growth. The beginning of a new project. A birth. A chance to improve your health. A gift you can use to invest in future gain. This could be a new job opportunity. A chance for promotion. This is a gateway card. It's a good time to start improving your home and begin building a foundation for the future. It's a new beginning in a financial situation. It could be a contract. Do not overlook this gift. It needs to be nurtured to come to fruition. It just does not land in your lap. The Ace of Swords or the Ace of Pentacles is materialism and verbal talents come together. It's not revealing true intentions. It could be a lack of support. And that's two aces in your reading, which can represent trickery or a divine union. Your fourth card. It's the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. Number four of the Major Arcana in the Rider-Waite deck, the Emperor. This can represent an Aries. 
Maybe Aries is in your chart, or it could be in the chart of someone else. Their sun, moon, rising. Now this card is the Divine Masculine card. It's representing authority and leadership and authority. It stands for the domination of the material world, paternity, and the regulation of life by law. It's order and structure and stability. It's a reminder that the flesh is not the enemy of the spirit, but its vehicle. And spirit is not the enemy of the flesh, but its driving force. This is success and stability and vision. It's paternal leadership. It's mental activity and domination. It's controlled and directed attention. It's exercising power wisely with structure and control, authority and rules, which can become repressive. This is someone powerful. They rule, and maybe you feel like you're under their influence. This is love through healthy boundaries and stability and power and protection, realization. This person has supreme authority and worldly power. Their age and position of authority speak of experience and wisdom gained. They're a beneficent ruler, and they will fight for what is right and what is their duty to protect. They're a father figure. Maybe they're giving fatherly advice. They're a solid leader a natural born leader, and they have the right to rule. So look for issues related to authority. This is a protective male force, especially of the home and of domestic harmony. It's realizing your goals or reaching out to begin, and you may be required to take charge. The Ace of Swords with the Emperor is a domineering man who is honest and has a sharp tongue. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. Number eight of the major arcana, strength. This can represent a Leo. Leo, sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter. Now this has to do with courage and determination. Inner strength. It's force of character. Spiritual power overcoming material power. Love triumphing over hate. The higher nature over carnal desires. It's becoming strong in spirit. It's a test of fortitude, moral courage and fortitude. This is an irrevocable fate card. This is inner strength to accept yourself, quiet confidence instead of dominance, and openness instead of determination, because gentleness can hold a greater strength. This is a person facing problems with confidence and hope. Maybe there's hidden feelings. It's this is faith in yourself that will pay off. The Ace of Swords with the Strength card represents strong opinions. The Page of Pentacles with the Ace of Pentacles is working towards a new goal. The Page of Pentacles with the Emperor card is becoming more secure in the physical, material world. Page of Pentacles with the Strength card is extra stamina in the face of adversity. It's extra, extra incentive. The Ace of Pentacles with the Emperor is new money you're in control of, can represent the stock market, its opportunity and authority. The Ace of Pentacles with the Strength is passionate about your finances, and now these two majors together is Emperor and the Strength card is total confidence. It's robust health. This is a great leader. This is also a danger of acting that the ends justify the means. And now your vice versa tarot card, you have the reversed Knight of Wands, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It has to do with the inner self. The knight and the unicorn face the wild lightning with no hesitation or faltering in their progress. The torch casts a golden glow to the counter, the white hut flashes before them. They show no sign of fear or even caution. The real shadow side of this night is the appetite for drama. Facing down, the lightning will make a great tale to tell if he survives it. Let others have their small, safe lives. This is a person who needs the extra fire of excitement to truly feel alive. Thanks, you guys, Cancer. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember... What goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.